Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are going to be checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive, at least for the time being, right? You can grab these at Walmart, the gold label DC Multiverse. We have a brand new character selection in the form of Dark Flash, straight from Speed Metal, Dark Knight's Metal, yada yada, and of course Shazam, or Captain Marvel, Shazam, right? At this point, we all get it. It's Shazam. Again, Dark Flash being from Speed Metal, Shazam being a DC Rebirth, but very cool looking figures, I will say that. At least in the packaging, we'll go over them in detail. Now, I will tell you this. On the back side, I think a lot of people are saying, oh man, there's going to be uh, three different head sculpts for this Dark Flash. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you I have it on good authority that as for right now, for the time being, even though you see it on the back of the box... Uh, there's only going to be one, right? So you have the open mouth Dark Flash, the one that we will be looking at. And of course, Dark Flash, again, comes from the Speed Metal comics, Dark Knight's Metal, there's a whole bunch of them. So, I mean, technically you could army build these if you really wanted to. Here's also the barcode. You can pick these up at Walmart starting now, along with... Shazam, Shazam, right? Very cool to see. You know, with Shazam, with the recent movie, Zachary Levy... I, I like Shazam a whole heck of a lot more these days than I did as a kid. On the back side, I do really like the artwork selection that they chose, but I would have loved if he actually came with an apple or a little lunch bag that said Billy. That's kind of interesting to have. Here is the barcode as well for Shazam. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, make it a gold label selection. This is a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive DC Multiverse Shazam and Dark Flash by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you speedsters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. I know, there's been a lot, and yet we still have more to go. Just FYI, wink, wink, more this week. Anyways, do the whole thing, subscribe if you like. Now let's talk some DC Multiverse, and then we'll start it off with the Dark Flash. And you know me, you know my videos, I love a good zombified looking Flash. Now he does come with some speed effects, flame effects effects right i'm always happy when you put powers for an action figure in a box and lo and behold they're two very different effects that's actually really cool to see now if uh, not to beat a dead horse but i have talked about how i like when effects clip on one of them clips on one of them you kind of have to like force it through but you can get some good speed running looking poses out of them. We'll just say, it's okay. You got the stand, and then you have a really cool, creepy looking dark flash. And I'm gonna tell you this all day. He's a little bit of reuse here and there, but it's a zombified looking flash. I absolutely love the way that this thing looks. Not to say that there's some oddities here and there. We have just pointed it all out, right? I really like his arms. I like the gold that they went with. His hands are very expressive, right? Don't try to take them off. They don't come off for whatever reason. But the paint kind of gets sloppy every which way for the gold, right? You can kind of see. And I will say that with recent figures for DC Multiverse, the diaper-ish kind of thing has worked, right? For more recent type figures, this one is a little bit more noticeable than most, right? So that's kind of a backtrack in that sense. And I did look at the artwork, double-checked. The gold right here, just kind of how it ends, it looks weird. It looks like it should go all the way around. I wish this guy had more gold paint on the backside, right? It's just on the front. You can kind of tell with his legs. It's reuse here and there. Not, not too much reuse, but for the most part, yeah, he's a great looking zombified creepy looking horror action figure for your dc shelf and yeah when you do have him all posed out doing the whole head goes back arms out stretch doing the whole zombie superhero pose yeah you can get a lot of great poses out of this guy he's creepy he's terrifying I like the way that this guy looks. He's got a lot more good than uh, bad going for him. And one thing I always like to point out with these zombie figures, make some articulated jaws if you're going to do this. You can kind of force it, right, in some sense. It's a little bit gummified. But, uh, yeah, some articulated jaw action would be awesome. Now, let's get into Shazam, right? Billy 
Batson, or if you're Mattel, Billy Bastet, right? Never gonna let that go. <laughs> but you have these effect pieces, which I'm pretty sure we have seen before. We've been looking at a lot of DC Multiverse figures, but I feel like we've definitely had these. And yes, they are, again, like the Dark Flash, his effect pieces, these are two different effect pieces, although they look very similar, right? Then you have these hands, and I think when I posted the photos earlier today, when people started finding these in the stores, uh, yeah, these are giant hands. His hands are like carrots, they are, right? I'll show you the scale chart in a few. You got the stand, and then you got Monsieur Shazam, right? And again, much like the Dark Flash, there's a lot of good going on, and there's some wonkiness here and there. We have to point it out. We gotta talk about it, right? It's not the end of the world, but it's just okay. Now, first and foremost, with the head portrait, yeah, that's close enough to Shazam. He's got a little little smirk kind of thing going on. He's proud of himself, although he's, uh, he's borderline a little bit cross-eyed. He kind of looks like a dark-haired John Cena, to be honest with you. He's got a little shade, right? A little bit different flesh color tone in the face. The face is okay it's not the worst it's not the greatest it's just yeah i guess that works for shazam right not gonna look into it too much i'm not too keen on the head articulation either the neck and the head it's it goes again much like the head portrait yeah the reds are nice the gold's nice again this is dc rebirth for shazam for the costume it's okay the cape is lovely i do love it but I wish it had a little bit of gold trim on there. I think that's kind of missing a little bit extra to it, right? But again, a little bit of reuse here and there with some previous Black Adam figures. But the articulation is pretty solid on this guy. If you are a fan of McFarlane Toys articulation, then you know what you're getting into, right? You do have some double-jointed knees, not the most attractive in the articulation and how it's kind of cut. You kind of see right here, right? He's got the boots. He's enough of Shazam, enough of a borderline classic Shazam-ish, right? To do all those kind of Shazam-ish type things that you would want to do with a more modern DC multiverse figure. And you can get the head going. I just wish it went back just a little bit more. With all that articulation, the neck and the head, it only goes back oh so much. But if you do have a flight stand, you got the effect pieces going, yeah, you can get them into some cool poses now again the hand the more outstretched flying hand is entirely too large it's comedically big but if you just utilize the fists right he's powerful he's shazam he just transformed he called upon the power the lightning bolt hit him and it looks good so really there's a lot of nitpicks with this figure don't get me wrong but he does look very heroic and he does look like yes a shazammed billy Batson. So I do like it in that sense. Now, when you swap out the hands, here's where it goes south, right? These are giants. These are like page puncher hands, right? I'll get to those later on. Don't you worry. I'll have a separate video, but you can see how big the fist is compared to the more outstretched hands. Now, you can say it this way. They are a little bit more comic bookified, right? A lot of hands in comic books are giants, and I don't always mind that. But these are very comedic, very clownish, right? There's there's some probs going on. I would say, Billy, uh, you know, Mr. Mind did something to you. Something like that. You know what I mean? So in that sense, it's great to have extra hands. McFarlane, thanks so much for listening. We've been saying, hey, extra hands. Let's get some extra head portraits too. But we got to fix the scale on the hands because, yes, they are entirely too big. And, of course, I have to point this out that... Once again, the scale, and I was really hoping these were going to scale a little bit better. With the Page Punchers Black Adam, uh, this guy, he's he's taller. Now, you kind of want these guys to be around the same height, but Black Adam always just a little bit bigger. That's how I would see it. However, you get some flight stands going, you get some poses going, they're flying at each other, they're going to do battle. It doesn't look too bad in that sense, although this Black Adam does look a little bit small. We'll see how the Rock one goes, if and when I pick that up. However, I do like the Page Punchers Black Adam's electrical effect. I think that that looks fantastic with this new Captain Marvel Shazam figure. And if you were wondering how he scales with, say, Superman, right? I do like to use, I call it the Sunsoft Superman that I have, and then you have the Page Punchers Superman. Yes, he is taller than both, although I think the Sunsoft Superman, the classic Superman, is still way too short 
for this guy. This guy is taller than both. So, again, he doesn't really fit in with some of the figures that we have. Although, I will say, if you're looking for some alternate hands, the Page Puncher's Superman hands, they do fit a lot better in terms of the scale. However, they will not adhere to the figure. They instantly fall off. Of course, right? Of course, that had to happen. Now, in terms of the Dark Flash, I'm not going to call into scale too much about this guy because there's millions of Dark Flashes there's a Joker Dark Flash, there's a Gorilla Grodd Dark Flash, it, you know, Death Metal went wackadoo. But I think he does look good amidst the other speedsters. However, it, looking at him, I didn't really notice until I saw it up close, he's got very tiny feet on him, which is kind of funny. However, again, in terms of horror, right, and doing creepy, weird, deceased zombie stuff on your DC shelf, yeah, he definitely does work, especially when... You got the rest of the more recent, we'll say, Blackest Night, right? Even though, again, yeah, I got to point this out because somebody will say it. He's not Blackest Night. No, he's not. But he's a cool, creepy, zombified-looking Flash. And he'll definitely fit in with the rest of your Blackest Night figures. Now I just need to get Necron, and he hopefully will be here shortly. Now, here are three of the more recent Walmart exclusive gold label DC Multiverse figures. Again, there is a Nightfall Batman. I do have him on the way as well. Yes, they all have some good things. They got some wonky things. They got some things here and there, but Parallax, as far as uh, right now, not having Nightfall Batman in hand is still my number one. So, again, there's some great things about these figures. There's some wonkiness about these figures. There's some things where you go, hey, yeah, McFarlane is listening, but we still aren't there just yet in terms of, man, they nailed it. It's just kind of like, okay, ooh, we need to keep going, right? So, that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Walmart exclusive Gold Label, Dark Flash, and Shazam, and you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything DC Multiverse, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, just wait. Uh, uh, just wait till nightfall comes, and then we maybe look at some other DC Multiverse figures as well. I'll catch you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.